So in this video, I want to talk about snapshot automation. I want to show you guys something that I learned. I got this from Kenny Joya. I don't remember if I saw this in one of his videos or I read this on a forum, but credit goes out to him for this one. And this is something that I try to apply on almost all my sessions when I'm mixing. How many times are you working on something and you hit the faders by accident and you don't remember the position? With snapshot automation, even if I hit one of the faders, it'll go back to the same positions. That's why I like to do this on all my sessions. Over here I have kick, snare, clap, hats, uh, low tone, ride, cuts, click track, and a master track. And let's go over to the mixer window. All the faders are down. The only thing that's currently up is the master fader. I have the Kramer MPX plugin on the master bus. And what I have here is the ML4000 by MickDSP. And what I'm doing with this plugin, kind of just raising up the volume for you guys to hear it. So let's just get right to it. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start pushing up some faders, gonna get some sound. This is not a mixing video, guys. I'm just showing you uh, snapshot automation. And I decided to uh, bring all the faders down and give you guys an idea how I start a session when I mix. So. Let's just get right into it. So there you go, I have my faders up. I have a level that I think is okay. I can sit here and just keep tweaking them. But this is just uh, for this tutorial, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna highlight all the tracks and I'm gonna select right. I'm also gonna select volume. Just press play. And stop right away. As you guys can see, we wrote some automation. Check it out. Now, if I'm working on a session and by accident I hit one of the faders, this is what happens. Sweet, you guys get the idea. So that's basically snapshot automation. If I wanna tweak it now, there's a couple of ways, if you have Pro Tools HD, there's a couple of automation tools that you have with an HD, but in Pro Tools uh, 9 or LE, just open an AUX track, route this track to uh, any bus, I'm gonna call it, uh, it's Stereo B. The input, let's find that track, Stereo B. Let's solo save it, let's see. All right, sweet. So if I wanted to automate this, ride the volume here, set it to touch. So 
So there you go. You really wouldn't do that on a kick. You know, this is just for the tutorial, but that's snapshot automation. So there you go, guys. I really hope you enjoy the video. If you have a question, post in the bottom. Give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to press that subscribe button that you see on your screen. Later, guys.